the, the point is, with young emerging artists, um, do you think that an artist needs a gallery, an art consultant, uh, someone working for a private dealer? The only thing an artist needs is good work. It's the only thing that seems to be lacking is good work. But how do you get your good work out? Who cares? Just paint and paint if or work If you've got good work? work, they'll come to you. The, the, the real trick, if you want to call it a trick, if an artist has the work, they will come to you because there are a few sophisticated people and quite a few artists around that have a network mm. and and everybody is jealous uh, so once they see something that they like uh, they they can't help but talk about it so the network <laughs> you know, is funny. what friends other artists it's usually other artists basically it's it's other artists because you, you can't live in a vacuum and and really survive and the other artists will will they'll get it but I think that's one thing that you um, more than anyone that I really know has been behind the art um, movement so to speak you've been friendly when I said you were a giver you've been friendly with emerging artists young artists uh, I, I mean I remember meeting Chuck Arnaldi and Laddie Dill at your studio they were in awe of you and the friends you were with. Ken Price, whom you mentioned, Bob Graham, um, Ed Moses. It was kind of a thing where you would bring these young artists in to be with, well, you weren't masters at that time, but you were painting a lot, all of you, or working a lot. Uh, you, you know, if, if you just hang out with the same people all the time, you're going to get the same answers. It's nice to have the kids come up. Uh, and uh, and have new answers or new questions. I I don't find.